where they could get to a situation where they're going to get the bomb down. And there we go. PBS H versus MG44. And look at that. A nice kill by Fowler there to finish off the enemy team. Lucan. Someone, someone, one team is getting more warm in their clothes now. Uh, this is not uh, at all the same team we saw on the uh, on the German side just three rounds ago. They've uh, they've really really adapted, but those nades have been clutch quite quite a lot. And switching it up to not not getting caught or flanked out as much is, uh, has definitely been to the Germans' advantage and uh, Scarlax. Yeah, and what is really interesting is that uh, Chris always gets in the, in the L band uh, with the HP and, and does so much damage uh, with now uh, his team with 11 kills. Yeah. So he has been a real risk uh, for the Scarlet team to take care of. But he always does the same thing. He sneaks into L band and it comes out. Yeah, Chris versatility has been, been amazing in this game. He's, like you said, he's really, really, he's really, really a stand-up. Bass, uh, who's, who's the last man standing now, he's at three and three. Now, now he's got three deaths so, that's so far. And all of his teammates are, uh, have been killed a lot, a lot more than he has. But he has a little, what does that mean? He is the guy who goes clutch. He is the guy who lays back, he's more strategic, does not put himself in any, any dangerous position, which is really, really important. And uh, just like uh, blocks from, uh, for Scarlex, you see someone who has, has low amount of heals, low amount of deaths, you should look out for that person, because they are the one that could eventually change everything up. And here we are right now with uh, the Germans pulling a three-round streak so far to pull them back into the game. Yeah, just watching them as they uh, make their way down through the, the corridor boxes uh, into the main pointer. And uh, it looks like they're trying to use those boxes for that additional cover. Oh, look at that. Very close to uh, losing out some people. And he's going to get blank oh, wow. shot in the face. Oh, that was lovely stuff coming in there uh, onto uh, Team 64. Yeah. And now it's not looking good as Baz comes in as one of the final people left standing. I think, yeah, Bezu is the only man left standing, Lucan. Yeah, he's uh, up, in, up in the garage, being just chased down. There, there's not, not a lot you can do there. I mean, you can back off, run the clock, but at, the, at this point, just get into the, get into the next round. You have channel. nothing to gain, really. Yeah, so, one thing I um, always seem to watch is that's very good on this, is just the way that we... Uh, the guys chuck the nades into that corridor and over the top of the building, getting bounces off the top of the building, which basically increases the range of their nades as those pineapple right. nades come flying down. And these guys, uh, the Germans, have to basically make as much uh, use of the cover as possible to even get into the point yeah. without any damage. And, it and those like boxes it, at the at the bomb site as well, where they get help. There's the, they, those angles are so tricky. I mean, they they are really, really, really tricky. Yeah, it's it's. And now the thing is, is that they've got a situation now where they've got the dynamite down, and this is going to give them the advantage because obviously the fast plant time and the low, the slow. Um, what's the Diffuse, word I'm looking? Right? Thank you. Yes, yeah, sorry, English, and. Um, it's going to be now essentially on the enemy team to push that point. They've got to clear anybody off. And there we go. Another three taken down by Thunder. Great wow. shot there by Thunder. And now they're in a strong position where all they've got to do is essentially survive. It's this, going to be is, interesting this is an impossible see. situation for, for blocks. Yeah. It, it really is. I mean, like, okay, well, like, right, go kill them. Four of them. Like, okay, thanks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And not only that, I mean, it's like, single point of entry yeah can he make his way out can he get those all important picks he's coming under fire almost immediately you can see the bullets going in um and he's managed to take down chris which is going to obviously give him a little bit of help but may not be enough there we go and now i love i love, I love Paolo's thing like he's saving his weapon yeah it's a german weapon thank you yeah <laughs> and and now last, last round of the half as well wow yep yeah. that's it was... So I think what we saw here was uh, the Axis side. It, it took them five rounds to start to understand, okay, where are the gaps in their mm -hmm. nade rain? And like, the, the question we have to ask ourselves now is, well, was it too expensive to 
to have five rounds to understand that because after those five rounds they did great Skarlex, but was it enough? Yeah, yeah. it's, it, it's, we'll, it's we'll, about we'll getting see. momentum, isn't it, really, when you think about it. I mean, yeah. you know, the advantage of the uh, the better side, if you can get ahead with it and the amount of rounds that you would need, it gives you a buffer to work with. So yeah. that if you, if you feel that you play more poorly on the Russian side, it still gives you a certain level of advantage as far as you're concerned. So it's going to be interesting to see. Six to four at the moment is the score yeah. on the boards. And, um, uh, Spam your F, chat, please. Sorry? Oh, yeah. 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 Sorry. Uh, it's cool, it's cool. Uh, oh. we, know, we know the, we know the, uh, we know the... Yeah. Sorry, I keep sp I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not used to spamming. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not a spammer. So... You're, not, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're <laughs> not. <laughs> so anyway, we're just going to see how the uh, teams sort themselves out as... Uh... So obviously, on the German side, you're going to have Team 64 AMD, and the Russians will be Skillex, and it's going to be good to see there come out these stick grenades. You can see them as they're popping them over the spot. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, actually, uh, I had a quick coaching session with Scar like, like five minutes before the start of the cup, and I tried to explain to them uh, those over the na uh, over the roof nade. Uh, they failed because they didn't practice. So this That's is a classic. Yeah. But the thing practice makes perfect, or at least slightly better. Yeah, but the thing is also <gasps> I mean, Ooh, think... nice, nice from Thunder. Oh wow, that was a fantastic nade coming in from Thunder. Nice double kill. That's gonna probably break the back of their opponent's challenge and now we're down the sea again. There we go. Another oh. grenade coming in. Those grenades have just been absolutely fantastic from Team 64. And I saw, I saw the I saw the arc of that nade from yeah. the, the aid bomb site straight into the corridor outside the garage toward the aid bomb site like but probably knew that they were there somewhere but those are the type of nades that make go oh yeah that's exactly that's exactly what you're looking at and now you can see uh they're making their uh, you can see team 64 making their way down the corridor of nades i suppose you could call it um because that's pretty much what they're doing and now look at this look how many they've actually managed to get through and this is going to give her a really good advantage. And look at the flanking coming in. Wow, that was a serious, serious amount of fire. But you can see that the advantage of numbers didn't really do them a huge amount of good right at the start because obviously of that PPSH massive amount of lead being thrown down range. But it, it, is, it is a mighty suppressant, that PPSH. It really, really is. I mean, yes. you don't understand how sure it's really really hard to hit with it but you can't move like it can, it can completely block out like an area of, uh, of entry or exit yeah now at this current moment it's down to fee again and just the man has a pathological desire to survive it's quite impressive i have to say let's see if we can find him and the thing is is in these kind of situations he's got to be careful because obviously the pressure is going to be on him and he's got to try and get picks without giving away his position or basically leaving himself open you can see he's basically watching what are the sort of choke points for the area because he doesn't want to get outflanked because now he's in a situation where there's three v one and he's got to try and push that advantage as best he can I mean, you're, you're afraid to move. I mean, are you going to move up into the garage where you might not know if anyone was there? And he's got to know that there, there has to be someone that's just looking from a bomb site to see what's going to happen. He has some time left, not a lot. He needs uh, five seconds to plant. and uh, But that also means that he needs to make his way all the way over there. And we still have we have Baz, Wetter, and Rezu uh, waiting Mate. for him. <gasps> Oh, nice! Just back. Right in the kidney. Right in the kidney. Yeah, but no time for fire to plant. No, no. And Bus takes him down. I like the but speed. He, but Scarlet he gets put a uh, he gets a, uh, a a glory number. <laughs> At least one more kill in the scoreboard. Yeah. I, I like the speed Scarlet's put up there, but the problem for them is still that half of their nades are not hitting where it should, and it's easy for us to say that because we see it, but in their minds they have no idea that half of the nades are not hitting where they should. So that's going to be a problem that X will always be faster inside A in this hub. And that kind of control is so important for them. It really, really is that important, because like, you, you don't get your name up there. 
get, get, get things. You don't have to kill them. You just need to get good enough coverage so that you slow the entry. Because you need to lock that place down. Oh, oh man. Thunder. It's just a slaughter in a... It's, that, it's just like you said. It's uh, the, You need to lock down A if that's what you're going for. Because that is the the most contested place. It has the, uh, win. the best area coverage. It has the, the best corners. And, and it's very easily defended and quite hard to, hard to take. Uh, is there any point of like saving nades? Uh, to like, if like say that you failed to take A, is there any point of just saving nades from the German side to, to try to clear that out? Well, yeah, there are different uh, methods we can say in the modern uh, call, uh, call of Duty, uh, and one of those is uh, to save some nades, like for example, the police guy that uh, chose a delayed nade. Uh, because the allies uh, always like kind of tr uh, try to wait for the first wave of anti-rush nades and then mm. just push inside. And then there is one nade that now. can come late and just you know, make a lot of damage. Yeah. Yeah, one thing I have noticed is that obviously people are using mostly the machine guns, you know, MG44, PPSH, but you're seeing the use of the bolt action rifle in here. And I have to say, some of the aiming and shooting with the bolt action rifles have been so deadly accurate. Just, just so much damage done by that bolt action rifle in comparison to hurling loads of lead down at the enemy. And it's, it's a good thing to see, I think. And obviously, the... it's a skill based rifle as well. Which is a completely different beast, uh, as as opposed to like a lot of the modern shooters that use a ballistics based uh, heading. Uh, is it high torso head one shot with the bolt rifles, or is it just head? Uh, it is high, uh, high up, uh, higher yeah. torso, neck. So, oh, oh, uh, uh, yeah. So so uh, top torso head uh, one shot, and like, yeah. there's, there's such a delay on the rechambering of a round that. It's, a, it's quite stressful. If you make a shot, you see it hit, but you don't kill him. It's like, ah, yeah. fudge sickles. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. waiting, waiting for that time to do, like, do I have enough time to shimmy, shimmy, shimmy out of the way and adjust myself to get back in. It's a lot more difficult than what it seems. And that is a skill that you are going to lose with time. One thing I definitely have to say, I quite admire in Team 64's patience that they get to a situation where they're not planting the dynamite but they're just waiting for a situation where one of their guys is covering the main corridor knows that it's going to be a situation where the guy will have to push down that corridor and he's waiting while his teammate does a rear flank in order to get the kill and take the round and so yeah this is definitely a testament to uh team 64's patience and uh I suppose good drilling, really. But they're confident. They, they, they look really confident in uh, what they do. It's like, but then, as we said, uh, the practice shakes off the rust. Yeah, and in the meantime, uh, we have six match points for Team 64 MD. Wow. Oh. They're already on 10, so. Yeah. Six match points. So, to 11. Till 11. And, uh, yeah. That's MR10, Max Rounds 10. Exactly. Let's also not forget, you know, mention the uh, the Skrillex guys. Uh, Fee has done a fantastic job. I mean, you know, he's top of the scoreboard for his team. Um, but obviously, under the circumstances, I think the uh, the uh, the drilling and the uh, the patience of the uh, Team 64 team has really paid off. Obviously, like you were saying, their grenade game has been completely on point, and it's a case of, you know, it's when you're, when you're playing these kind of games, it gets to a situation is, oh, God, yeah, I'm patient. I just want to get it over with. And yeah, you, yeah. you don't want to do that. You have to take the time because it could all be over very, very quickly if you yeah. leave yourself open to any kind and, of attack. And, and you see that now here with the potentially last, last round of the game is that both teams are being very cautious. Oh, well, here we go. Scarlet's, oh, no. Wow. What does this kill. win? And that's GG. One round kill. Yeah, that's it. The first game of the tournament, that we're covering at least, uh, goes to Team AMD64 over Scarlix. Good game, boys. And, uh, wow, if it feels... 
I don't know. I don't know about you, Chad, but it feels really, really weird to do this. But at the same yeah. time, for some reason, it's good to. I be kind of know what to do, and it's like it's yeah. kind of scary. But, it's like muscle it's, memory, isn't it? It really, is. At the it end really of the day. is. It's, it's, yeah. it's so weird. It is so weird. But it's it's also it's also great to just be back in a map oh. like this. You know, I, can't, I, I kind of notice how much I missed it. You know, you know what I mean. 